सर आर यू देयर प्रशांत पांडे सर प्रशांत पांडे सर उदय सर यस मैम मैं कॉल करता हूँ मीटिंग वो शायद हाँ सर वो ज्वाइन नहीं कर तो सर शुड आई कंटिन्यू यस सर ओके सो वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू एवरी वन आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक्स एडवाइजर ऑफ दिस वेबिनार डॉक्टर राजीव श्रीवास्तव सर कन्वीनर डॉक्टर ज्योति जैन मैम faculty coordinator udhav pawar sir and dear students so today i'm going to discuss uh, uh, the future sensor technology for automation so just starting uh, how the technology changed throughout the era that was uh, in the starting it was it was pre mechanical era then after the mechanical era then after electro mechanical era and now we are living in, in the age of electronic era so in the pre mechanical era we can say the age of uh, stone age then after the bronze age iron age medieval age where uh, the, the people just uh, looking for the uh, means how the fire can burn can be burned how the uh, <clears throat> weapons can be made and then after the invention of the steam engine In, from nine from seventeen twelve, the era of uh, mechanical era started, and then after the invention of electricity in eighteenth century and electro mechanical era started, and after that electro mechanical era, the industrial revolution came into the existence, and right now we are in electronic era, just which started in the late decades of the twentieth century. and the in the late decade of 20th century the era was really the era of communication just i remind my age group people when we were just uh, means uh, just uh, in 1990s onwards how the communication uh, how the communication medium changed we were having the basic telephone and then after we are having the small mobile phone having all kind of the connectivity having live streaming on those so this is how the era of communication changed the world so what is the next we are looking for so definitely the new era is going to be the era of automation where the things are going to be automated means we are looking for the automation means we are going to be in, in future world we are looking for how the human effort can be minimized how we can minimize our effort and uh, means uh, let the machines should do the maximum amount of the work so what is the automation automation is for technology applications where the human uh, just input is minimized and uh, once the human input is minimized then how the human input can be minimized and uh, means just in case of industrial automation we can see just um, how the industrial uh, automation change the um, whole the industry process just before an era of 1970s when the industrial automation was not in existence the almost all kind of the work were being done by the human and in that particular case the quality of the product and the productivity of that particular industry was not also up to the mark 
but after we have seen the industrial automation the things have changed a lot now we can see the food or the different kind of the systems having a kind of uh, means uh, 100% optimized uh, um, optimized quality and everything is optimized well uh, well manufactured means the quality of the product and the productivity both have been enhanced by the help of the automation so what we are going to see the next in next 20 till next uh, an era till next 2040 we are going to see that almost 60 percent of our general lifestyle will be fully automated means right now we can say that we are not right now our daily life routine is not much affected by the automation but in upcoming days definitely the automation era is going to affect our lifestyle and it is going to change our um, living style and our definitely the technology is now penetrating in the um, different kind of technology is now migrating with each other now integrating with each other and the they are working that how the things can be automated so is there any difference between uh, uh, robotics and uh, automation so definitely we should look for it that what is difference between robotics and automation so robotics is really related with just only that uh, <coughs> robotic arm means a mechanical process how the uh, any any kind of the environment can be sensed and then after by the help of the sensors and actuators any activity can be performed so by the help of different kind of the actuators and sensors the in case of robotics a particular well-defined task is performed but in case of the automation it will use the intelligence it will use the intelligence by the help of the intelligence it will try to perform the task itself means the task will not be only limited to uh, will not be uh, looking for our guidance or using human intelligence but by the seeing the environment or scenario, it will itself automate the things and perform the task itself. So what are the advantages and limitations? Definitely uh, talking about the advantages of automation, the accuracy will definitely rise. Second thing, the productivity and the quality will definitely come to and means a uh, level. But the limitation, talking about the limitation, then definitely we need a kind of the workforce because if the lot of the works will be done uh, by the machines, then what the humans will do? So human beings have to be uh, well um, trained so that they can participate in such kind of the activities and they can participate uh, and they can means uh, cope up with such kind of the technology and can contribute towards it. So these are major limitations and uh, definitely uh, the in us also when the era of automation started the <laughs> there was a uh, means um, job scarcity was a major issue which has been seen that is not the job scarcity is the major issue but it is uh, the our uh, uh, means our expertise is not up to the mark that we can avail the job up to that level so it is not we can say that it will increase the job experts a uh, job uh, scarcity but it will increase uh, the demand from the consumer side that uh, uh, service provider side that what kind of the uh, expertise they need in our side so starting about the automation in daily life so just starting about our day if i just begin my day means i begin my day with an alarm and uh, obviously, what is that alarm? That alarm is a kind of buzz or noise that is fully automated. Means our day starts with a kind of uh, automation. And then after, if I go to the means uh, um, daily routine activity, just like as a geezer or any kind of uh, means uh, uh, cooking related means if I want to make a coffee or all these things. So what will happen means uh, I have to just uh, put in, uh, switch on the geezer and it will automatically um, 
heat the water up to a certain level which one is required then after if i uh, if i and another thing is ivr ivr is interactive wires uh, response system means we are talking uh, to an fully automated system but we are not aware that uh, we are talking to an fully automated system based on based upon their our response they will automatically generate the questions and then after based upon uh, our and we can't identify that we are talking to a machine we are actually talking to a machine but we are uh, it will seem that we are not talking to a machine then after smart homes this is it uh, means uh, just like as you can see that uh, uh, ac or uh, uh, means in kind of ac that is it is having a uh, means temperature control activity itself in a, in built in itself is if you have fixed the temperature up to 20 degree centigrade then depending upon the environment it will automatically uh, make a rise or uh, decrease in the temperature accordingly then after in automobile so automobile in what will happen that uh, automobile uh, if you will if you, you we all drive the automobiles then uh, just in uh, uh, 10 years back we need to kick start them but now it is uh, if uh, in almost all the bikes but now they are self um, started uh, having that self start facility and uh, uh, we are having it is now equipped with uh, different kind of sensors which can sense your uh, means either the driving so that driving can be made safe for you and furthermore we are moving towards uh, self driving cars moreover if you will go on the highway then fast tag means uh, if you will see that uh, we have to uh, invest a lot of time a lot of time on the uh, means uh, if we are uh, going on the highway then we have to give a lot of time uh, on the means uh, so that we can get the token uh, toll paid but nowadays on the fast tag it is fully automated system it will detect that whether the money is in your account or not and it will be automatically detected and um, uh, your um, vehicle will be passed on it other examples just beyond it which we are not seeing in daily life that is space in space we can see that uh, um, just um, in uh, iso have uh, launched chandrayaan 2 in which way a rover was being sent to the chandra to the space and although and also the nasa is doing it the kind of various kind of the activities for it means the uh, nasa is uh, uh, performing uh, uh, with the help of various research activities with the help of different different rovers on mars so the isro has sent with the chandrayaan 2 the vikram lander and within then that vikram lander there was a pragyan robot which was made to uh, means self investigate it was fully automated it was having a kind of self investigation activities so that uh, it can perform that uh, it can perform means a different different uh, uh, kind of testing which were required and send data back uh, to the um, this is station and the different nasa's uh, uh, robots just like is a spirit preservance and curiosity the spirit and uh, curiosity have been already sent and they are they have sent the sufficient amount of the data to the nasa they were fully automated robot means these robots are being operates are being self operated and sending the data just millions kilometer before um, just to the distance of the millions kilometer and uh, um, means they are able to communicate with such kind of the huge amount of the data now the self driving cars definitely self driving cars because if we will talk that what is the major amount of the time we spare uh, in daily life in 24 hours if we spare almost 2 hours in driving from one place to the another on an average in 2 hours means if i, I am having a vehicle then i have to drive with, uh, to an out uh, to my workplace and i'm not residing in the campus then i have to drive almost half an hour to reach uh, that particular campus so this one hour definitely this is a means you are just woke up and uh, you are fully energized and so you are using your means a kind of uh, good uh, you are investing a good amount of time in driving so this is being uh, means a thoroughly uh, explored area which is self driving car so the cars can move itself and so definitely if you are moving with this too much fast speed 
then what will happen if we will if we are moving with so much faster speed then what will happen then definitely there will be a margin of error will be there means just as within means few tenth of seconds of error may cause that uh, um, we can meet an accident so and definitely we have to drive according to the rule we have to drive according to the with the safety features of the other other co passengers also so this is a self driving car so it is will be kind of the sensors which will have different kind of the sen uh, means what is the uh, what is our speed of car okay in what path it is traveling what is uh, the condition of nearby cars nearby vehicles what is uh, um, for the route of the car what is the condition of the road what is the condition of the environment and furthermore it have to communicate with each and every component within microseconds and within microseconds it have to calculate all the all those datas and based upon all those datas it have to take the decision that whether it has to what at what speed we have it has to go on whether it has to apply the brake or it has to accelerate some a bit it has to turn right or it has to turn left so a kind of the precision is required means this kind of the automation will need a large amount of the sensors network means the sensor should be very precise it should give the accurate data with those sensors there should be a very good communication network and it should have very minimum latency latency means latency means uh, the time which has been lapsed in communicating data from one end to the another end then after based upon those data the automated algo have to take the correct decision so that's why tesla is uh, testing its cars and uh, time to time it is having some glitches and this is a process of testing and uh, definitely a day will come when we will have fully safe driving cars in the near future then after next point is cooking means uh, definitely the automated cooking uh, i will show a video also in the next uh, slide that cooking is a kind of if you want the tasty food if you just suppose that uh, we are having the tea vendors at the railway station and the railway platform what does the, they do they do that just uh, take a uh, means uh, hot boiled uh, just they boil a kind of water and then after just mix a liquid and prepare tea for you so you also call it that it is a railway station kind of tea okay so this is a kind of automation definitely we have achieved the kind of automation but this is not up to the mark we if we are uh, if you want a tea then what kind of the tea we want means at our home maybe that you want a high sugar or you may want low sugar you may want uh, means a kind of tea which is uh, having a large amount of uh, uh, tea in it uh, means it should be stronger or lighter one then after it should have what kind of the amount of the milk it should have it should have a ginger powder or means a, a, a different kind of the ingredients in mixed in it so if is it possible to make such kind of the tea with uh, with, with the help of automation definitely this work is going on uh, and we are also working on it uh, we are working on in our labs also on it uh, that uh, how the such kind of the things can be made possible because definitely we have achieved the kind of automation means we can cook the tea uh, but with the range of the sensors we are having now we can move towards the perfection with the range of the data processing capability within the processors we are having we can move towards the perfection means i want the tea but that should feel just like as homemade tea so how this can be made how this can be cooked so definitely it will need what it will need it will need a kind of intelligence a lot of intelligence within the system means what kind of the amount of the milk is required when to pour in the milk when to uh, uh, start uh, means uh, when to add the sugar so just like as to more than that uh, 
the robots have been made which are cooking omelette and uh, different other uh, i will show a video which is presently in demonstration uh, kind of the feature and definitely this is going to be the future because almost we are investing our 2 to 3 hours of the daily life towards cooking and when the cooking is involved at the large amount <coughs> then we need a, a huge amount of uh, means uh, man power resources involved in it and definitely if uh, even uh, we we as a human being cannot cook the same kind of the uh, means taste uh, with the uh, uh, again and again but if you will train a machine then it will have such kind of the perfection that it will uh, make the same taste whatever you want each and every time without any mistake so uh, this is an area which is still to be explored a lot for the automation and which is related to our life which is which will be life changing then after industry automation definitely uh, the auto industries have been automated automatic um, just uh, uh, way back it has its automation have been started is started with the uh, steam engine and then after it is being continued but nowadays with a kind of variety of the sensors we are having the industry automation is being upgraded up to the next level and each and every means just starting from manufacturing to the supply industry automation is working very well then after item delivery so definitely uh, in the we in the covid era and just before we have seen that the items are being delivered to our home so this this also triggered a new dimension that why the humans in, should involve in it because a lot of humans the human resources involved in uh, just picking up a product and then after delivering it to the another end so definitely the uh, amazon is working on prime air drone delivery system it is being tested and working well and hopefully as a pilot project it will uh, it, it is being presently tested and if something is being involved in the pilot project then definitely it is going to be future very soon then after medical automation in medical have changed the life definitely the doctors are very reputed practitioners but they also they are also human being so if we have to do a kind of the surgery then doctors also are also taking help of the different kind of the precise medical instruments so that the surgery or different kind of the activities can be made efficient not only surgery but why the death rate is decreasing right now nowadays because by the help of automation we have made our testing facility medical testing facility so much equipped that so many tests can be performed at a single time and the disease within the human being can be identified very early at the very early stage and if the disease can be identified at the very early stage then definitely the cure can be done and uh, we can have a uh, means uh, such kind of uh, means uh, life saving activities are on time different kinds of robots which are being involved right now on the in the surgery just like as a knee transplantation or different kind of the routine kind of the work because these are kind of heart surgery these are kind of the activities that out of 10 the one pupil is facing it at least one pupil is facing these kind of the problems so um, how whether the this amount of the surgeons will be available in the future definitely the hrd is working on it but it will not be possible to generate such kind of the huge amount of the human resources and make it so much cheaper so that a simple uh, so uh, so that uh, means uh, a kind of a uh, um, common man can avail it but by the help of automation by the help of the robotics it is it can be made possible the different kind of the surgeries can be done within very speedy speedy time duration and we can drag all out of 
a lot of from them and then after entertainment we are seeing that uh, <coughs> the gaming uh, means you can see that the gaming platforms they are different the kind of the gaming platforms are available and they are fully automated means people are interacting with each other and then after uh, means uh, uh, the era of entertainment is now uh, the entertainment is now changing the uh, different kind of the facilities which are being uh, provided by the different uh, um, uh, service providers in terms of the different kinds of games and other facilities in in a kind of uh, videos which you have to look uh, which you want to see so definitely this will uh, this is going to change the era of automation so i am going to just just a second I hope that my screen is visible. Sunday. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Visible. So, just we are going to see a uh, video of a fully automated smart home. So, what kind of the fully automated smart home will look like? We are. We can see in the this video. Definitely, it will have a large kind of the sensors uh, uh, connected within it. So, definitely, the waking up time is six a.m. and at the six a.m. Uh, automatically the lights are being switched on because it have detected that now the person have to means wake up and definitely the temperature control is being uh, means automatically accordingly the temperature control uh, is being uh, performed and then after automatically the curtains are going up and down according to requirement so what kind of the uh, we every every one of us just uses the newspaper so Definitely the newspaper uh, means the kind of the news you want to see that will be displayed. And then after automatically the coffee cooking will be started, whatever you want. And then after it will, whatever, with the help of uh, means uh, driverless car, you can move anywhere. <laughs> now the person is at the remote location. It is having fun somewhere. And now the door is automatically open. But once the door will be opened, it will automatically pop up a message on its mobile phone and the camera will be turned on to look after that who is there. And to make a proper control, there will be four sensors which will be activated and uh, they will start watching it, that what kind of the activities are being performed. As soon as means uh, just relax at home, button has been clicked, definitely the Automatically, the lights will be turned on and curtains will be put down. All these activities means whatever kind of the music if you want. or the, So, this kind of the things will be fully personalized. Means a kind of personalized automation. Suppose, if we, I am not feeling well, suppose uh, uh, I am having the kind of temperature. So, definitely, uh, in the future era, we will have such kind of the features which will uh, make it possible that uh, if we, if a person is having kind of the temperature, then uh, means it is it doesn't want the AC. Then the environment can the home environment can be made accordingly. Okay, so the so you there is a large scope of automation is still left. We are not having things up to the personalized level. We are having things automatic, but they are not personalized yet. Means the things are automated, but not up to the mark as we want. Now we can see that this is a kind of robot, which is a, a kind of a, means a, a two different. It is for home surveillance. Means no one is at home, but it can monitor a different kind of the activities and. Uh, just help you out to do to perform and can become a friend of you and just uh, help in communicating with each other 
and different kind of other activities. Now, let me show another. Yes, this one. So, automated cooking robots. So, how these cooking robots are working, these have been trained with the master chefs, means, and these are the sensors which is monitoring. There are sensors equipped in it which is monitoring that what is the current status, means, by the help of image sensing, it will uh, presently see that whether the item is cooked, what uh, up to what amount the item is cooked, now what it wants. So, it will pick it up and then after pour it in. So these are a kind of future which we will have in next few decades. Means these are the things which we are going to see definitely. We have seen the era of, of revolution of communication and now in the future we are going to see the era of automation, the revolution in automation, when almost 60% of the work will be fully automated. And the last one is, this is Amazon boat, which will pick up the uh, item from the warehouses and just put it at your uh, de uh, delivery locations and without an error means uh, it will automatically find the OTP and all these things and it will deliver the item up to a particular location, which one is required. So these are just a kind of demonstration which are going to be <laughs> which are going to be uh, in our uh, means, which are going to be part of our future very soon. So next one is, what are the key components of the atoms? So definitely, we can see that humans are really very intelligent and we can do the different kind of the activities fully automated. Are we doing it fully automated? Definitely not. We have been well trained. We have been a, a small kid just starting from the small 